Hi there! If I say conditionals, which is the first word that comes to your mind? Let me guess. Is it if? Oh my goodness, how can it be so gifted? Okay, fine. But there is something I need to tell you. There is life after if. And today, we'll take a look at other ways of talking about condition. As I taught you, if is not the only word that we can use to express condition. There are other words or phrases that serve the same end, like unless, even if, only if, as long as, so long as, provided that, providing that, on condition that, and so on and so forth. Let's look at them one by one. Unless. Unless kind of replaces if not. It's always followed by a positive verb and it expresses a strict condition. Watch out because it cannot be used in the third conditional. Christina Aguilera says, because I don't want to get married unless it's with you. Aww. I don't want to marry if it's not with you. I won't make popcorn unless you clean up the playroom. I will not make popcorn if you don't clean up the playroom. Even if. Even if emphasizes the idea that the result will happen or would happen or would have happened regardless of the condition. It's similar to whether or not. It's like no matter what you do, this thing will happen anyway. Even if I try to sex it up, Grandma bores me to death. I'll hug you and squeeze you, even if you kick and push me away. Try as you might, you won't escape Mama Bear. As long as, so long as, provided that, providing that, on condition that. They all stress that a strict and specific condition must be fulfilled for the result to happen. We'll watch a movie tonight, provided that I finish editing the conditional linkers video. There is no way we'll watch a movie unless I'm done with this. Or, as Lady Gaga says, I won't do everything as long as it's free. Only if. Only if conveys the idea that there is only one condition that will cause a particular result. We'll go to the beach next week only if COVID restrictions are lifted. Notice what happens when only if appears at the beginning of the sentence. Only if restrictions are lifted will we go to the beach. Yay, exactly. When the if clause comes first, the subject and the auxiliary verb in the result clause are inverted. In case. We're using case meaning because something might happen. As Demi Lovato says, I'll be waiting here in case you just want to come home. Like, I'll be waiting here because you might want to come back. Also, there is another linker that we often use in zero conditionals, which is when, to express that every time something happens, there's always the same result. You remember, when I eat cauliflower, I get gassy. Okay, so, all's well that ends well. And I do hope you ended up learning some new conditional linkers today, so you don't have to use if all the time. Then, let's shut up shop. But make sure you stay tuned for more. See you guys soon.